This is one of the trickier knot stitches now. Um, so I'll break it down into small parts so you can see how to construct it. And I usually find that the problems come, people just don't go far enough with the stitch. They stop too soon and think it doesn't look right and start again. So it's just a case of going far enough with the stitch. So this is what they look like here, like little worms, if you like. Um, this one is a thinner one, so I've just used one strand and two strands for this one. Here, so I'm going to start my thread where my bottom of my knot's going to sit. Now in theory, you can do these knots as long as the needle. That's quite long. Um, you wouldn't really want to do them that long. So this is a, quite a nice length to do it, or a little bit short if you want to. So this is where the knot's going to start. And then the needle goes down where you, go, you want your knot to finish. But don't pull it all the way through. You want to leave that loop there. Then the needle comes back up where you started the knot, but don't pass the needle through to the front. You need it to, um, to still be in the back of the fabric. So what we're going to do now is use this thread here to wrap around the needle. Now it doesn't matter if you wrap clockwise or anti-clockwise, um, just go the same way each time. And I'm going to wrap my anti-clockwise. You can see I've just got the tension on that there. If I try and wrap it without any tension, it's quite difficult. So just a little bit of tension on there and wrap it around the needle. You can push the wraps down with your finger and they need to meet the other end of that thread. So they're filling in the gap between. So a couple more, so they meet that thread there. Now this is the slightly tricky bit. So I'm going to hold Check that. I'm going to hold that thread between my thumb and my finger. So I put my finger behind it, my thumb on the other side. Now you don't want to grip that too tightly because I'm going to pull this needle now through it. And I'm just, just supporting the threads around the needle, really wiggle the needle up and it will come through those threads. So just pull it straight to the top. Now it looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but don't panic, we'll sort that out. And you can actually let go at the minute. It's not going to come undone at all. So don't feel you have to hold it and strain your fingers. So what happens now is there's a triangle, it makes this triangle shape. I'm going to put the needle in the triangle and just pull those coils around it. So I'm pulling this thread away from me and the needle is underneath and I've just got it under the coils and the coils are coming towards me and the thread is going away from me and it's just tightening up the wraps around the thread. Now, we're still not finished. This is usually where people stop. We need to just neaten these coils up a little bit. They're not, um, they're not very smooth, they're a little bit rough. So get the needle underneath the knot and just rub back and forth a little bit. Just evens out the coils. It will loosen it up. Again, you can see how loose that is. So you'll need to just tighten it. So pull the thread away from you and the wraps towards you. I'm just putting the needle on top there to support them. I think I need to go a bit more you can keep fiddling with this until you've got it as you want it. So don't stop too soon, just keep going until you're happy with it. Keep tightening it up. And there's my knot. And then to finish it, we just need to take that thread through to the back at the end of the knot. Like so. And there's my little bullion knot. So I'll do one more for you. So up where you want the knot to start down where you want the knot to finish. Don't pull the thread through, leave yourself a loop. Back up where the knot started and leave the needle in the fabric. Now wrap that fabric, sorry, wrap the needle with the thread. So tight on that until those wraps, when you push them down the needle, meet the other end of the stitch. Like so. Just support those coils around the needle in your thumb and your finger just lightly so that you can pull the needle through. If the needle won't come through you're holding the coil too tightly so just loosen off with your thumb and just allow that needle to pull through all the way to the top so it makes that triangle. That needle goes in the triangle. I'm positioning that thread away from me because I'm going to pull on that to tension it and pull those coils down with the needle. If you find that a little bit tricky, you can put your fingernail on it just to steady it and pull those threads. That does the same job. 
So just want to then tidy up these coils, they're a little bit loose. So needle underneath, rub back and forth a couple of times to even them out. It will loosen the stitch off, so just place your needle on the thread, pull away just to tighten it up. And there's my bullion knot, so just to finish down at the other end, like so. So that's bullion knot stitch for you. It takes a little bit of practice um, to get the needle through the coils and just to even the coils out. So have a go at a couple um, and see how you get on with them. Just a little tip for you, if you're doing quite a few bullion knots together, you might want to just put a couple of holding stitches in between every one or two stitches. And then if you should have to cut a bullion knot out for any reason, you don't have to cut them all out. I learned that the hard way, so there's a little tip for you.